Welcome to Hunter Hunter Theory. I'm going to explain about the possibility that Don Freaks and Jing Freaks are the same person. In the process of explaining this, I will also explain the evidence that Don was deeply involved in the founding of the Hunter Association. I hope you will enjoy the content, which will help you understand Hunter Hunter more deeply. Don Freaks is said to be the author of a book called Journey of the New World. Don is the person Jing was introduced to when he shared his own knowledge of the Dark Continent with the members led by Beyond. Journey of the New World is an explorer's account of his travels through the Dark Continent. It is the Journey of the New World that details the exploration of the Lake Mobius coast all the way back 300 years, and only the East Edition has been found. When Journey of the New World was first discovered, it was considered a novel of sorts because its content was so far from reality. However, when the five threats began to be confirmed in reality, the existence of the Dark Continent described in Journey of the New World was proven. Humanity had visited the Dark Continent many times, but most attempts had been unsuccessful. Netero, along with his friends, once traveled to the Dark Continent, but they returned home without the necessary strength. Don Freaks traveled alone to the Dark Continent and conquered the eastern side of the Dark Continent. Jing believes that Don, who published the East Edition 300 years ago, is still in the process of writing the West Edition. If Don is still alive, he is certainly over 300 years old, but it is quite possible that he is prolonging his life by making full use of the Dark Continent's return. How Don conquered the Dark Continent is not revealed at all. Whether he has advanced Nen abilities or whether there are new concepts beyond Nen abilities is a mystery. Journey of the New World, East Edition, was published 300 years ago, the time around the same year the Hunters Association was founded. This is because Gan passed the annual Hunter examinations held once a year in 287 terms. Is this just a coincidence? It makes sense to think that Don is the founder of the Hunters Association and the one who popularized the Nen ability. Also, there is no doubt that the name Freaks is an ancestor of Jing and Gan. Jing was one of the top five Nen users in the world, and Gan had the potential to kill Nefer Pito, who was reputed to be stronger than Netero. It is clear that the Freaks family is uniquely gifted when it comes to Nen ability. There is no doubt that the main character in the Dark Continent arc is Jing. The first main goal of Hunter Hunter is for Gan to find his father, Jing, who is a hunter. In this light, we can assume that the origin of the name Hunter Hunter means that Gan, now a hunter, finds, hunts, Jing, the legendary hunter. Just as Gan found Jing, it would be natural for Jing to find Don. There is no doubt that Don is related to Jing and Gan by blood, but it is conceivable that Don may be Gan's father, and I will explain why. This explanation also connects to the explanation that Don is Jing, so please do not skip over next. First, the most significant reason why Don may be Gan's parent is that Jing has not stated that Gan is his son. Strictly speaking, there is one occasion when someone speaks of Gan as his son over a cassette tape, but it is possible that the voice is not Jing's but Don's. In that scene, a person who looks like Jing is exploring what appears to be the Dark Continent. The person is riding atop a giant dragon, clearly larger than the creatures on the continent inhabited by humans. We can also determine that the place the person is exploring is the Dark Continent in that there is a world tree growing through the clouds. However, in the scene where Jing is talking with Gan at the world tree, Jing remarks that he has not yet fulfilled a single requirement to go to the Dark Continent. The description of the Dark Continent's creatures as tame and traveling alone is consistent with the figure of Don that Jing spoke of. Another basis for Jing's belief that Gan is Jing's child is Mido's testimony that Jing left the island when he was 12 years old and returned to the island one day with Gan in his arms. Furthermore, Gan has stated that Jing is more like a relative than a parent, which raises the question of whether Jing is not a parent. However, there are several points that can be made to refute what I discussed above. First, along with the cassette tape that Gan received was a greed island ramen ring. 
This is clearly Jing's property, which raises the question of whether Don would include Jing's property among the item he gives to Gan. Also, Gan met Jing and heard his voice then. If the voice was different from the person on the cassette tape, it might sound strange, but Gan did not care at all. From this point of view, we can assume that the voice on the cassette tape was Jing. To summarize, the owner of the cassette tape is Jing, and Gan's father is also Jing. If the owner of the cassette tape is Jing, does that mean that the person on the dark continent is Jing? This is different from what Jing told Gan at the top of the world tree. So, what if Jing is the reincarnation of Don? The person who traveled alone in the dark continent was Jing, and Gan's father was Jing. Both could also be Don. In other words, he did not travel to the dark continent now that he is Jing, but he did travel to the dark continent when he was Don. It all makes sense in this way. Next, we will consider the possibility that Don is Jing. If the return of the Dark Continent prolongs his lifespan, then Don is not Jing, so we will consider the hypothesis that he is living a long life while reincarnating through his Nen ability. First, the origin of the name Jing is thought to be related to a power stone called Zinkai. The stone is a power stone that symbolizes creativity, individuality, and resurrection. It is also thought to be the origin of the name Kite in the first place, and I think it symbolizes the two of them. Kite died once and was reincarnated as a Chimera Ant Girl. And Jing has said about Kite's Nen ability, Kite has the Nen ability to reincarnate, and it was I who taught Kite the Nen ability. It is not unnatural to assume that Jing also has the Nen ability to reincarnate. It is also curious that Jing knows so much about the Dark Continent, despite the fact that information about the Dark Continent is kept from the public by the government. Netero had stepped into the Dark Continent twice when he was younger, and somehow Jing knew about it. It is also possible that Beyond's second trip to the Dark Continent began when Botobai, the oldest Zodiac's member, was a child, so Jing was not yet born at that time. I wonder if too much knowledge of the Dark Continent means that he went to the Dark Continent to write the East Edition of Journey of the New World and died because something happened while he was writing the West Edition. It is also questionable whether memories remain after reincarnation, but when Kite reincarnated, he still had memories of his previous life. These are the reasons for the possibility that Don is Jing. I think it is quite possible. If we assume that Don is Jing, the description of the Dark Continent on the cassette tape is a scene where Don was exploring the continent alone hundreds of years ago. At that time, he had some kind of accident on the west side of the Dark Continent, was reincarnated, and is now in the process of trying to reach the Dark Continent again as Jing. Don may also have been deeply involved in the establishment of the Hunters Association and may be the person who introduced the Nen ability to the world. Or perhaps someone who read the East edition of Journey of the New World founded it to take on the Dark Continent. If Don and Jing are different persons, then Don and Jing will probably meet again in the Dark Continent. Many mysteries should be revealed at that time. What do you think about the possibility of Don being Jing? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video so far. As fellow Hunter Hunter fans, let's get excited about Hunter Hunter together. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Ciao.